Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Levante. If you're new here, we're doing an apartment tour, so let's get into the video. This is the view as soon as you walk into the door. Here I have basically my mailbox as well as where I hang my keys and also where I put my shoes to the right in front of you is my living room I got this couch um, as well as my rugs and my coffee table and my credenza well my TV stand and the accent tables, well, the little tables here. Also, as well as the lamps on walmart.com, and I got it all delivered to my house. So I found it much easier to order everything online, especially big furniture and things like that, um, and have it delivered straight to my house instead of buying furniture in advance, saving it, and putting it in a storage unit and then having to haul everything. It's so much easier having it delivered to your house and then you build everything inside. You don't have to worry about moving all big furniture and everything like that. So that's one tip I would recommend. This is how I've decorated my um, TV area. I have my books in this corner. Um, I've read most of all of these books. I have some of my medals from cheerleading, some, family cards and photos. I also have my little scent area over here. I keep my candles, my sprays, my um, room scents, like things of that nature. And this is just a mis miscellaneous basket I have here with tools and whatnot. And yeah, that is the living room. Everything will be linked down in the description below. If I um, can't find anything, it's mostly unavailable. But if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. From to the right of the living room is my bedroom. This is the master bedroom. I have a queen bed. Um, I also ordered this, um, I ordered the bed frame on Walmart, and then I ordered the, the mattress as well as the box spring on Amazon. Um, yeah, I also have this little nightstand right here, got this off of Walmart. Um, I bought this in store actually, this is a bookshelf, but I use it as a dresser basically but it's like open face basically um i do this all the time only because this bookshelf is way cheaper than a um dresser and it's convenient so i mean some people might not like the way it looks because you can see all the clothes but i don't really mind um this is like my only piece of decor in this house um this is mariah the scientist in her this is our album cover, but I just blew it up and put it on a canvas. And what I used to attach this is the um, command strips that uh, are for canvases and like prints and paintings and whatnot. And it's held up really well. And then here is my closet as well as my shoes. Um, up here, I have these little fabric baskets from Dollar Tree and I just bought about I think like nine of them or something like that and here I just keep my um like socks underwear t-shirts things of that nature and then I keep my clothes right here and my shoes right here and then laundry basket and miscellaneous um sheets and whatnot here I have a mirror I believe I got this from Target I did I get this I got this from Target um, I didn't even know but it matches the wood from well not exactly but it's they're both wood the wall and the border around the mirror and as we go back into the living room and to the right we have the kitchen I have an oven and a stove as well as a refrigerator got this microwave from Walmart I got this in store 
then I got this table also on um, walmart.com as well as the chairs that came as a pair um, this is a really nice set I really like the I believe this is kind of like marble but like it looks really nice um, as for the price and whatnot and yeah I added a little accent with this golden placemat as well as um, this holder it's like a leaf I added some scented pine cones they're like cinnamon for the they've had them in there for a minute because it's like for Christmas and whatnot they always come out like at Ho at Lowe's or Home Goods I mean at Home Goods um, Lowe's or Home Depot yeah and here's my refrigerator decorated I have my appliances here coffee this is from coffee maker from Walmart rice maker from Walmart um this is i think like target basics well not target basics but the target brand um toaster and yeah i also have room in here cabinetry area keep my food and my um kitchenware I got um, all of my um, plateware, bowlware, all that like uh, glassware from um, Walmart. I also got these containers from Walmart. I really like these because they're airtight um, containers for cereal and whatnot. So yeah, that is, I keep my calendar right there and a couple um, pictures and whatnot. And that is the kitchen as well as the living room. Here's a better view of how large it is. And then from the kitchen, we have this walkway. I added some um, floor runners here. And this is also where I keep my like cleaning supplies and my vacuum from Walmart, um, mop and broom also from Walmart. I bought these in store. I believe I have, what brand is this? This is, yeah, Abyssal. It's, um, it's like their smallest vacuum, just because I don't really need, I don't, I have hardwood floors and tiles, so I don't vacuum as much. Um, but yeah, I think that was only like $54. It's really compact, but it works really well. And then to the right, we have my bathroom. It's really nice. There's a lot of space in here I like because I use it for storage and whatnot. And then here is also the mirror. It's where I keep all of my um, toiletries and whatnot. This is the bathtub. Luckily, I just cleaned it recently, so it's not dirty. Um, we have a shower head that comes off, sprays, has different um, settings and whatnot. And I just bought these little um like suction cup holders and um hangers from walmart i really like these um i've had a couple different ones and i didn't like them because after a certain time they would fall down like the one the suction cup um that just has the little like plastic one that you just put water on and you squeeze it on there don't like those they fall down and one broke and like broke all of my like um, they just broke and it was annoying. So I have these ones. These are Better Home and Gardens brand. Um, I'll try to tag these down below, but I'm not sure if they have them online. I know they have them in store, but these you twist, you twist this to suction onto here. So you can twist it as tight and it does not move. It's not moving. And I've had these on here for like three years and they have not moved at all. I think actually, yeah, the one fell off just recently and but it's been like three years and the summertime makes the heat it fell off but three years it's been good been good so that is the bathroom and then to the right of the bathroom is my second bedroom um i just use this as storage because i don't really need a second bedroom but um these trailers came with um two bedrooms and all of them so here it is in all its glory. I just store all my boxes and extra clothes and whatnot. I use this room to like draw, do some art doodlings, whatnot. Keep 
all of my bags and accessories in here, um, as well as any toiletries I don't use or um, files that I have. And yeah, it's just an empty room. Also use this as a guest room. I have a, an air mattress up here that I got from Walmart as well. Um, yeah, and that is basically it. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys know like my process of how I got here. Like, um, and I've been living here for I think three years. Yeah, I moved in here September of 2021, specifically the 13th. Um, this was my first ever apartment. Um, this is a single wide trailer, and um, it is right now it is renting at eight. 50 and I originally moved when I moved, originally moved in here um rent was 800 and um it just increases by 25 about I don't even know how they do it but 25 every like six or a year six months or a year something like that and um I've really liked it so far it's definitely the cheapest I've um been able to find in the area um I definitely plan on moving when I um, am able to increase my income and whatnot. But right now, this is a great place just to live by myself, live alone. Um, I moved in here on 2021. I saved up around like $7,000. And keep in mind, this was my first apartment. I didn't really know what exactly I needed to save up for, but I knew I needed to save for first, first rent, um, last month's rent and a deposit um so that was like eight eight and eight so that's eight times four two thousand four hundred and then um i also needed to save to um buy basically everything i have in my house which was around like i'd say it was around a thousand a thousand five hundred something like that and then um so yeah i did a lot of research i went on uh not Zip, i went on zillow i went on apartments.com and then my jackpot was craigslist this is where i found this um application to rent out and um yeah i would definitely recommend checking all resources um asking friends and family if they know any places that are vacant and whatnot because you know there's slim pickings out here especially in the economy currently um but yeah i saved up i um applied i called i called so many places because i had so many places in mind where i want to stay and i just called them asked them if they have any um places available for rent and if they didn't, a lot of them would um, refer me to their uh, website because they had other, um, they had other like complexes that were possibly renting that I would might like to look into. So there's definitely a lot of options out there. Um, you just have to look around and use all of your resources as most as possible. And yeah, it's a pretty easy simple process i would just keep in mind to have some savings um, because there will be emergencies you will um need certain things you know natural disasters happen things like that you want to make sure that you are stable and can make it through any um circumstance um moving out on your first time um definitely make sure that you have what else all the essentials when you first move in definitely like maybe at least a couch because you know it's your bed if you order a bed you have to like wait till it inflates i didn't know that until i got one and then i was like oh i gotta sleep on the couch because my bed needs to inflate for like three more days because it was sealed tight um couch you know a little bit of uh utensils and um plates and bowls you can get those for like starting at like 50 cents a piece at like Walmart or Target they both have um little cute little plastic ones but until you like need um like glassware and whatnot 
but like when you first move in you want to get like that um or even paper and plastic from dollar tree that works as well um cleaning supplies of course you want to clean down all the surfaces and whatnot before you actually settle in and yeah that's pretty much it that i have and my recommendations um i can't think of anything right now but if you guys have any questions or want to know where anything is from um i got a lot of everything from walmart that's my best bet is to get like good cheap quality things um from walmart you know and then also target has some other things and amazon as well uh, especially for online um but definitely if you're also on a budget check out you know your local goodwill um I forgot what it's called, but there's these, there have, there's these, um, stores that have discounted furniture and things like that. Anything that you need, basically. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. Um, and also consider subscribing, liking this video, and checking out my other content. Yes. Alright, I will see you guys later, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.